Harvard University. I have 10 Harvard students here. I'll give them some challenges. Let's see how smart they are. I'll use my own book to do this experiment. Oh, you oh, wrote a book? You wrote a book? Yeah, I did. What's Galileo's most famous hypothesis? Falling, object. Falling objects speed up as they get closer to the ground. All right, that's correct. But I'm looking for Galileo's other hypothesis. The one that helped him disprove Aristotle. Are you referring to Galileo nice. dropping a feather and Very hammer good. in 1569 from the Leaning Tower of Pisa? Mm-hmm. All right, good. But who can tell me the hypothesis? Heavy and light objects fall at the same rate. Okay, now let's do the experiment. I'm going to drop these. Which one will touch the ground fast? The book or the paper? The book will touch the, the ground. The book will touch the, the ground paper. before the paper. You're correct. Does that mean Galileo was wrong? No. Galileo was right. He ignored the air resistance, but we did not. Galileo's hypothesis is correct in the vacuum. Good. We need a vacuum. Oh, so how can we test this hypothesis? You can do it. You can do it on the moon because there is no air on the moon. I think astronaut David Scott did it in 1971. What if we want to do it on the Earth? Well, I think we can do it at the Space Power Facility. At NASA, at Glenn Research Center. Oh, well, I don't want to go all the way to Ohio. I want to do it right here at Harvard by using this book and this paper by using a trick. This book will create a vacuum under the paper so air resistance will have essentially no influence. What's the consequence chamber. of this? Um, they both fall at the same rate? paper, but there wasn't any vacuum for the book. Who created this vacuum for the paper? The no. book! Let's watch it again. There you go! Thank you, Harvard student. I'm not sure where Galileo was at now, but wherever he might be, he's looking at Harvard University in smart. See you next time! You, Professor Saborno, Isaac Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.